but um, the problem here is uh, you tend to jump into the market and you only look at the 5 minute chart and 1 minute chart and execute buy or sell just by looking at these lower time frames and if you keep doing it then you get lost cut many times and your asset your important capital will be keep decreasing in this case you have to wait until the price gets closer to this red line and that's the topic that I'll be talking about today that's the topic I want to talk about so how can we wait until the price gets close to this red line right. Marisa, would you let it go as a trade once it does break down now and never pull back the red line okay yeah that's one that's another thing that I was gonna talk about but yeah so people might ask what if right what if the market doesn't keep going up to this price level then you have a no chance right you have no trade chance and my answer is yes right I mean yes you don't have a trade chance that means you have to see it off you have to um, see it off I mean like you cannot trade uh, if the price keeps going down from here so let me uh, rephrase it uh, let's say if the market keeps going down without touching this price level price level of this uh, red line here without touching it if the price keeps going down then uh, you cannot place a sell right you you shouldn't place a sell because you didn't find the trading edge on the market I wouldn't place sell if the price keeps going down from this point here without touching it I won't place a sell but if the price touches on this red line then I will place a sell because this is the trading edge on the market in my analysis but if the price keeps going down from here then I won't um, I won't take trades um, so how to avoid it how to avoid jump into the market and my advice are two right first one is wait for five minutes before executing trades just five minutes right just wait for five minutes before executing trades because you tend to jump into the market because as soon as you see the market like this you just place a sell right you just click here and just click sell sell button here right and just place the position but before open this before clicking this sell button or buy button you wait you time yourself and wait for five minutes and just taste that five minutes right taste it for yourself how you feel um, how you like how you struggle maybe the five minutes might might feel forever to you at that time because you think the chance is right there right you think the chance is right there if you sell the market might break this one line line downwards you might think the chance is right in front of you so what's the reason for waiting right but if you wait then there's a less chance of regretting and also you can wait for the trading edge the true trading edge on the market so my advice to avoid jump into the market is to wait for five minutes before placing sell or buy so instead of just you know placing sell clicking sell or buy here <clears throat> you just wait for five minutes and after the five minutes if you th still think that it's a trade chance then take that position but if you after five minutes if you think it's not a trade chance anymore then just look for another trade chance in that case um, by doing that you know exactly which position you should take or which position you shouldn't take just five minutes of your time just wait for five minutes then you're gonna see uh, you know lots of different things about yourself and also the second advice would be you can train yourself in your daily life for waiting for waiting or for not jumping jumping into the market 
Uh, for example, like uh, when you go to the mall and when you look for a bag, for example, you look for the ideal bag, right? You have the idea, or you already have the idea that what kind of bag you have you want to get, right, at the mall. And you go to the mall and you see the bag right in front of you, right? And you might be excited and say, like, you know, and say, oh wow, there's my ideal bag right there in front of you, right? And you might jump in and buy it. But instead of doing that, you wait for five minutes before making decisions and just taste that five minutes. And after the five minutes, if you still want to get that bag, then go ahead. But you may feel differently. You may feel after five minutes, maybe you, you might think, oh, maybe the color is not really, you know, I, I don't like that color or maybe the way I can, I hold it might not be comfortable. You may find things like that after five minutes. So the psychology becomes completely different from jumping into the bag. Another example would be when you go to the restaurant, before, just wait for five minutes, right? No matter how much you want have that steak, how bad you want that like pasta or pizza or whatever, <laughs> no matter how how bad you want that sushi in front of you, um, you know, wait for five minutes. Just close that menu. Just put put that on the desk. Look around. Look at look at the window, and wait for five minutes. And after five minutes, you open the menu, and you look at that sushi. If you still want that, then get it. But you may feel different. You may feel. Oh, maybe this pasta looks tastes better, or maybe this pizza looks delicious, right? You may feel different. And in that case, you close the book again, right? You close that menu again. You you wait for five minute, five more minutes, and you open it again. This is like the this is like this is like the training training that you can do in your daily life to avoid jumping jumping into the market in forex. I sometimes do it, like uh, when I go to the restaurant and before I, you know, leave my house. Okay, today, let's get, let's have a burger, right? For example, let's have a burger, and I stand right in front of the burger shop, and looks very delicious. But sometimes I wait for five minutes. I just, you know, go away from that shop. I just walk around and come back to that shop. And if I still want that, then I will go into the shop. But sometimes I feel differently. I feel, oh, maybe I don't feel like eating the burger anymore. You know, let's just go eat sushi, right? Sometimes I feel different. And exactly the same thing is happening in Forex. Okay, it's a trade chance. Let's place a sell here, right? You may think like that as soon as you look, you look at the chart. But just wait for five minutes. I just wait for five minutes and see how you feel after the five minutes. You may feel differently, or maybe this might not be a sell chance, right? You may have a second thought after five minutes, and that's very important. That's where the wisdom becomes, right? And if you can train yourself and get used to it, then you can, you will have no problem of waiting for the trade chance, for the trading edge on the market. But if you keep jumping on the market like that, without having any second thoughts or you know creating scenarios, the problem is um, when the market uh, you know keeps going backwards. If you jump into the market and if the price, if the market keeps to, towards the direction you expect, it's okay, it's okay. But the problem is after you jump into the market and the problem is when the price actually goes backwards. And that's when, because that's when you might regret. You might regret the result. So to avoid regretting, one of the ways to not jump into the market.